Hi. Tricycle with Ricky, the tricycle driver. Say hi to POD viewers. Hi, POD. <laughs> All the viewers watching you right now, Ricky. So, how long you've been driving tricycle? I'm 16 years old, sir. Since 15? 16. 16? Yes, sir. But I'm so, 20. how many years? I'm 28 now. You're 28 now? Yes, sir. And you've been driving for since you were 16. 16. 16. Wow. Long time. Long time. Same same route or different route? Different route, sir. Different routes? Yes, sir. Wow, okay. You must you must enjoy driving. Yes, sir. Do you enjoy it? Yes, sir. Good. I enjoy this because driving is Relaxing. Unless heavy traffic. <laughs> this is my source of income of my family. Mm -hmm. Driving because I didn't finish my school. Ah, okay. Oh, they got a dental clinic back here. I did not know. The road is so. We had to take a detour because they're working on the road on the main street. For my vlog. vlog? Yeah, YouTube. Likes. Here, sir. Subscriber? <laughs> Philippines on demand, POD. Philippines on demand. If you subscribe, we will okay. be very appreciative. Okay, uh, he is our president. Thank you. Nick Farouk. He's a president. Nick Farouk. Farouk's the name. Very SM, good. SM Davao. I will just walk and record, okay? Yes. Okay, salamat. The trike can carry five to seven passengers. Most have a covered roof to combat the elements. 
Many people use the roof to stow their heavy bulky bags. They move about in the provinces and small towns with less restriction. The trikes made their appearance in the Philippines at about the same time as the historic jeepney. Their designs are known to stray off course. They do vary from region to region in country. They are most visible on side streets, in subdivisions, provinces, and the smaller towns. They are generally forbidden on major highways. The trikes are busy transporting people and products from markets and small stores. The rates vary from 7 to 10 pesos. Pakiao is a term used when hiring a trike without additional passengers. Negotiating a fare with the driver can be challenging and is a daily routine across country. Hobble Hobble is a two-wheeled, single motorcycle usually ridden beyond its passenger capacity. Since it is used as public transportation, they are also very popular amongst fast food chains for delivery. The pedicab is a three-wheeled, human-powered mechanical vehicle. It is made up of a bicycle attached to a sidecar that can seat up to two people. These may come with a roof for both the driver and the passengers, or none at all. It can seat at most four people. Man-powered, quiet, environmental friendly. The pedicab is a mixture of the words pedal, referring to how the bike is powered, and cab, referring to the sidecar that ferries people. One source said that the pedicab appeared during World War II from the Japanese influence and used as a cheap mode of transportation. Tuk Tuk The word Tuk Tuk is a term used for a type of three-wheeled motorized vehicle popular in Southeast Asia and some parts of Africa and South America. The word tuk-tuk is specifically used in Bangkok. Motorized tuk-tuks originated from the design of rickshaws, which were prevalent on the streets of Bangkok during World War II. A small engine was fitted inside a traditional rickshaw and a tuk-tuk was born. Since 2016, they've been popping up throughout the Philippines. May it be a trike? bike, pedicab, or the tuk-tuk, travelers have to be careful though because some drivers may take advantage of tourists by charging double the usual amount. Unlike the trikes and pedicabs, the tuk-tuk can be driven anywhere in the Philippines. The e-trike, a national move to shift to a cleaner, more environmental friendly version of the tricycle has surfaced in the past years. The e-tricycle, or e-trike, is seen as the answer to the noisy, energy-wasting, and more expensive motorized tricycle. It should be noted, the tuk-tuks have not been in the Philippines long enough to share in past history. The tricycles and pedicabs have been around since World War II and are as popular as the iconic jeepney. In this narrator's opinion, you'd have to look long and far to come up with a country that does more with less than the Philippines. Economically speaking, she's a struggling country, but far from the poorest in which some people might leave you to believe. Her beautiful tropical paradise, people of kindred souls, mineral resources, the fishing industry, tourism, Filipino ingenuity are just a few of the strengths that can forge the pathway to a flourishing tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe!